Afternoon everybody and welcome to some Minecraft. So this is a friend of the community's channel. Very small number of people playing on it. It's a very small server. But I wanted to show you what I've done. So we're playing through the SevTech Ages mod pack, which basically starts you out not even being able to mine stubble. Not even being able to punch a tree down. You've got to take extra steps. So I am no longer in the tutorial stage. There's one last thing to do, the spooky boss battle, to get a, a bow, because we don't even have ranged combat yet. Well, we kind of do. We can throw tomahawks and spears. That's about it. Um, I'm now in age one, where I can now mine stuff. Hey, Emmy, how are you doing? So yeah, so we're playing through the Sevtech Ages thing. I've just unlocked how to make bronze. So I can start making some bronze stuff. Then I think... I kind of want to go into... Good, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, by the way, Emmy, this is um, Stig's server. Uh, so if you ask him nicely... Completely redid your room's layout. Ah, oh, it's nice when you get that. And it's just like, ah, cool. New. I like it. I did that recently, hence the reason you can actually see the wall behind me. Which reminds me of something I didn't turn on. Turn the light blue. If the light will even change blue because of how fucking bright it is outside. Eh, kind of. Yeah, it's a good mod pack. Um, I've never really got into it myself because the one time I could join a, a few friends playing it, they were already in like the age where they were using like the arc welders and they had like the multi-block machines. And obviously when you join in, you start at the tutorial age. And I was like, I can't be bothered to grind all of this stuff and not even be able to use the stuff you guys have made. So um, I never ended up doing it. And I don't know, single player, I never really got into it as much either. But this is a multiplayer server. Uh, the only other people on here at the moment are Stig and Marcus. I'm the only one online. Um, I'm uh, about as, I think I'm the same distance through as Stig. And him and Marcus are kind of working together. We've got different kind of setups. So I'll show you their base. So everything behind me now is mine. This is kind of, I guess these are kind of communal items. Uh, I made that TP. This is their, this is their hovel. They have literally a hole in the ground with a bunch of chests. Then they've got... Stig has gone overboard with the old totems. Uh, there's a couple of strainers in there that need to get refreshed. And then here's Stig's animal pen. So he's got a couple of buffalo, a few sheep. Other than that, nothing much. My base, however. I'm actually semi-proud of my house. Now, I don't do building because I am shit at it. Now, this is my cow hole. This is the hole I keep my cows in. You know, who I force to stay in a small... Well, it's not that small anymore. But I breed them because uh, we have the map and this is home. And there's a savannah over here. Miles through fucking forest and hilly forests. Getting back donkeys and horses from here is Pain in the arse. Um, these are all my deaths because... Can I delete these? How do I delete... <gasps> delete markers. These are my death markers from... when I went into the Badlands to get shadow gems. Let's get rid of them. Let's get rid of... 
that death as well. Okay. This is what I know of the world. So I haven't done a whole lot of exploring. However, this is my house. So if you... Fuck. Don't you even think I fucking hate this auto step. Uh, yeah, so this is my house. So ingenious ways the bad guys can't get me. Considering we don't have doors yet. I got my two um, kilns. Got a chest with a wooden hopper going into a kiln. And then a dung pipe which shoots stuff out. So I can put a bunch of wood in there to make charcoal. Got my grinder, got my wash basin and oak barrel which is very low. A wall of drying racks because my god you need the leather on even. My beginning of my smeltering setup. Um, but that's not all. I hear you. What's on the roof? You definitely asked. On the roof is my farm. And my aim, so these are aqueduct blocks, my aim is to replace these two with aqueducts and then try and get an aqueduct to maybe the river all the way over there. Yes, Stig indeed. I can give you the IP, I'm sure he's fine with it, but just double check with... Oh, fuck. Double... God damn it, I don't even have a pickaxe. Bear with me. Well, bollocks. Um, so we plan on getting an aqueduct probably to the river because it'll look cooler. And then I can use that to feed my my crops water, which should help with them growing a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, that's it at the moment. So this is how far I am through the thing. But I can make actual furnaces now. And I need to use... Okay. So I can make a furnace, and can we, does that mean I can make a stone hoe now? Can. Okay. So let's do two things at once. Let's make ourselves a hoe. And that, I think, I mean, I... I can get rid of the kilns, I think. Maybe. I'll keep them from now because it doesn't hurt. But, oh, actual furnaces. Fucking lost. Okay. Speaking of bronze, what can we use the bronze for? Four at the moment because we don't get everything. We only get a few things we can make. So I can make a sacrificial dagger, which I need for blood magic. I need a demonic will. Do that. And then a hellfire forge. Is used for wizardry. Okay. Hellfire forge to make stuff. Oh. I have to use tinkers to be able to make weapons. Unless the bronze plates are used to make... Oh, okay, bronze plates used to make armor. Oh, okay. And pickaxe. Mining level diamond, okay. So 32 bronze. For a full set, we need 5, 9, 17, 24. Two pickaxes makes 30. Two left over for something. So I might as well just turn. Oh, what? When can you put down at a time? 29? Is this going to make me 29 plates all at once? Please tell me it does. Oh no, it's just a mod pack. Oh, Christ. Okay. It's just the weird way it's doing the numbers. It made me think of a three cheese. Doesn't work like the chopping block, sadly. Actually, I wonder if there's an auto anvil. No, what about a crusher? 
No. Um, is there any way, other way to make bronze plates? Either the metal press or the stone anvil. That's it. Okay. Durability on this hammer to finish this. It's gonna be close. Damn, okay. Uh, we've we got 25. I think it's more important to make a pickaxe first. So let's make two pickaxes. And then let's make some armor. Chest piece first, because I think it offers the most protection. And then if we do that, we'll have force, we can make some booties. So we're just missing a helmet. Okay. Better. Okay. Um, we need to make more bronze. For that, we need some more tin. Need you later. Okay, some bronze ingots. Now we need to make another hammer, which is a oh. We need to make some sticks. Let's get rid of these random single wood types. Axe, 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 my kingdom for an axe, thank you. Could probably use a horse chopper for this, but I need to set up hoppers and ship, which I just can't be bothered to do right now. Also, I don't have enough wood to really do that. Okay, so I think stone round it is like that. Yep, just turn my fan. Okay. Let's, oh yeah, we have to break this up into ingots. Okay. Okay, still only four. I definitely miscounted. Whoops. Let's break you guys in. And then that, that should, let's see, so three nines, 27, more than enough to make that. In fact, we only need one more pop and we can make two stacks. Well, two stacks, uh, two lots of nines, two blocks. Definitely need one. Oh, I raised four a time. Sweet. Of course it does. It uses four ingots in total. It uses three copper, one tin to make four rocks. Which is nice. Also, tin seems to melt very quickly, which is nice. Okay, so. Need one more of these. Lovely. Okay. Now, what else are these useful that we can make? Oh, gearboxes. Okay. Pulleys. Um, bronze cogs, armor pickaxe, 
Make bronze bronze sword. Bronze axe probably be a better shout, actually. The first things first. Finish off our armor. Yeah. Okay, now. Using bronze ingots, we need a sharp bow. Which I actually have to use. Got some more time. Can't wait until I can have a bloody bed so I don't have to use this sleeping. Oh, and it broke. Alright, so shop, bone, um, yeah, shop, bone, and just stone. Do so I have to left click with it, maybe? Maybe that's what I need to do. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's not guaranteed to get a shop, bone. I see. Let's keep going until we get a shop, bone. Luckily, a lot of monsters drop. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Second time. Right. Let's pop you guys back. I don't know. Right here. Wait. Oh, yeah. Here's our shot button. Okay. So we go bronze, bronze. Sacrificial. Okay. Is that what we needed? No. Okay. We can make a bed. Okay, make a leaf bed. Okay, how do I make a leaf bed? So leaf bed uses leaves and hay bales. Three hay bales. Where's my... I'm sure I've got bone meal somewhere. Like lots of it. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Let's go burn all of this. Could use a ritual, but this is quicker. Found a, uh, on my slight adventure, I found a gigantic skeleton that had fuck tons of bone blocks. Whoa, hello, boys. Are you hungry? Yeah, you're hungry. Who needs some loving? Anyone missing out? No? Okay. We need our shears. Here somewhere. Three leaves. I'm going to take oak because I want to be, want to be certain. One, two. There we go. Three. Okay, so he bales, I believe, are that. We need three. That's going to be the most uncomfortable bed possible. But, you know, there we go. I'll sleep next to the water bucket. I finally have a bed. Thank Christ. Still haven't found where coal drops. Um, okay, so I need to make a... Find hostile mobs. Use the hunting... Use the hunt... Craft the portal frame. Okay. Um, no, is it called hunting? Oh, here we go. Hunting dimension frame. Um, construction and shape requires the same as the nether portal. Portal, okay, right clicking on it with the sword, bow, and still go through the portal and just sneak. Okay. So, any kind of logs surrounding the sword. Now I'm going to have to go chopping down trees, aren't we? 
Yep. Flank cabinets. Grab all of that. Let's go ahead and turn this into... Some... So that's an axe. What else can we use these for again? I want to make a sword. And that's it. Okay. I'll save the ingots for now. So let's make... Packs. So, right, so time to go to this, this, and I don't that. I need a sacrificial dagger for now. Hmm. There's a way of turning this into, yeah, on the grindstone, into flour. I think I'll do that. I think you only have nine, nine of it. Oh yeah, I've been using it to breed things. Fuck. Using it to breed things. Let's use another stack of this. Can you bake apples? No. Wait. Oh, spot. It's below leaf to grow. Sure. This is where we get renewable apples. I should have thought of that sooner. Uh, let's put the charcoal in here. Put on flesh. Uh, this one. Ah, there's one. Right, 30 of them. Even better. Let's get a little more stacks about this. Because there is a nutrition thing. As you can see, I'm really high on vegetables, not too bad on proteins, but I'm desperately low on grainy fruit. So I want to try, for the time being, eat just fruit and grains. Almost done. Okay. Here you go. Cows. Right, time to chop down trees. Oh, it's a tall one. A nice little add on for this mod is if saplings are laying on the ground, they'll just get planted. So if you don't pick up your saplings, They will regrow. Fuck. Creepers are a pain in the ass. I kind of need to climb up this one. But the same thing you said about flowers. I believe they re replant themselves as well. And you kind of clear out an area and you just get an inventory full of seeds and saplings. Uh, it gets difficult to keep it clear. I forgot what we need logs for. We need to make something. Oh, the portal thing. Bronze axe is great for cutting through leaves. Jesus. Apples. Get a fuck ton of sticks out of this as well. Because getting sticks is still a pain in the ass. So I have to use the chopping block. 
The only other way to get them is to break leaves. Chippy chop this monstrosity of a tree. Of course, all the saplings on the ground are going to make it another monster to read the road. Fallen. Let's get back up to the top again. He's super. Emmy, if you were to join us, uh, we are not at spawn because apparently the closest um, Darklands biome which you need to progress to get out of the tutorial stage was miles away. Um, I do not have any server command capabilities, so if you did join us and you wanted to join us at our location, you would need to get Stig to TP. Oh, my axe is broken already. Fox. Can I repair? Whoa. Fox. Okay. That's annoying. Is a half done tree here. Ah, I got the log logs I needed. I think. Chilla just made stone axes. Uh, stack of logs, it should be plenty. Ooh, so let's get rid of the stuff I don't need. Olive saplings. Let's throw others away. All of that away. I'll replant you too. I should have just run. Bollocks. Do not, you do not fucking dare. Oh, what's the problem? You can't blow up. I do like the totems. I've got an ocelot totem under my front entryway. Stops creepers being able to blow up. You in there? Uh, apples on the nom. Right, so I need to make a bunch of shitty swords. Somebody, so makes four, so we need ten. So we can make twelve. So we just need to make three swords. Oh wait, did you make a wooden sword? You can't make wooden swords, okay. Bless you now. Okay. Three wooden swords. One. Two. Let's okay, let's use our bed. Set our spawn. Fuck's sake. No monsters near them. I think I need to move this into the middle of the room. Wait, where did my bed go? Don't tell me it fucking breaks when you Okay. 
Not in a good mood. You make me break my bed, you bastards. Oh, and he fucking leaves as well. Again, shall we? So many fucking zombies at night. I think it makes more zombies if you damage zombies. Just in case lighting the portal consumes it. I mean, no one in armor still around, isn't there? Somewhere. And he's in with the fucking cows. Or a creeper around here. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> right. Do not get tilted. Do not get. Let's right. and presto. Do we actually loot very good sort of that guy? Okay. Right. Is he an indie man? Let's throw away that crap. That. But. What we do? Oh yeah, I wanted to make some bread. So I need some salt. Where's my salt chest? Okay. And of course I need some. Right, let's do a little trip to the river. Let's fill up our barrel. So you can pick up blocks, which is nice, and it keeps their content. So you can even move chests around, which is cool. Okay, we don't have a bucket yet, and 
you don't get infinite water sources. So water is semi-finite. You can, when it rains, fill up barrels with water. So far, I've only known it to rain once. Okay, right, so. Water, flower, salt. Leave it like this. Leave it. Three flour and one salt makes dough. Yes. And then the dough we can turn into bread. Can we use the dough to make anything else? Just bread. We use the bread to make anything. Bread and meat makes a tasty sandwich. And bread and sugar and water makes ale. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's uh, cook it there because it's basically it's free fuel. I don't have to use actual solid fuel on that. We'll just get the rest of this. We make some tasty sandwiches. Which is basically just bread with some meat in it. Hey Slim! Yeah, caveman noob at the moment. Well I've discovered fire by literally rubbing two sticks together. I shit you not, it's something you have to do. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Okay, so I can do it three more times by the looks of that. I've only got water for three more times, so that's fortuitous. Anything else I can use flour with? Um, flour and salt makes dough, I know that. Just dough. Smelting it makes flatbread. Grain 2%. There's 14 things I can... Oh, is it just different salt? To make dough 14 different ways. <laughs> yep. And I can also make it... Okay, so 2%. Versus 2.5%. Okay, so it is better to make actual bread. But flatbread can do with the uh, spare piece I have left over. Whoops, that's a lot of salt. Okay. I wonder if we can use flatbread to make some cool meals as well. One of the one of the things I love about Minecraft are the cooking mods. Like uh, Ham's Harvest Craft and stuff like that. It's got cooking for blockheads in this, which I'm very happy about. Okay, flatbread. Can we use that with anything? No. So we'll just nom it. Okay, cook one more so I can queue up the last one to get out of the inventory. Right, where's my meats? Could just get all the mutton, or I can get rid of mystery meat, buffalo meat, horse meat, and then top it up with monster jerky, maybe? Tasty sandwich. Oh, and it makes two. 4.5 and 3.4 each. Okay, so it increases our grain intake, which is, which is nice. So we can't do it with monster jerky. Okay. 
keeps the okay so it keeps the meat protein level but it gives you more grain protein and it also doubles the number of food oh that's a good eating cool okay that's food so oh. Turn the rest of this. What does that thing do with the dried shark meat? Dried shark meat between two slices of bread. No. Okay. Let's put the salt back in the salt chest. Logs. Planks. A stack of sticks, and then the rest go up here. Let's get around here. We should probably leave the stone mallet on this. Come on. Okay. How much tin we've got left to spawn? Only two. Um, okay, so that'll make... Don't be left with the ingots. Okay, one block, one ingot. Please ask you to do something good but hot. Oh, I know, it's so hot. So we're at one block, one ingot. So that's four blocks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I've got a fuck ton of profit. This took me ages to mine. <laughs> like a ridiculous amount of time. Hopefully this should go down to six ingots and stop. But I can't do math. Four sevens, two more ingots? Yes, okay. I can math. Now, copper takes a lot longer to smelt on this, which is kind of annoying. Right, that's a lot of tin smelted. Give bad guys a chance to spawn. Nine more bread. Let's get some more meat. It's literally the only thing we can make those tasty sandwiches at the moment. Yeah, okay. But, I mean, 43 tasty sandwiches. I think we're set for food. Let's put you in there. Let's keep you here. Don't need you. Might as well hold on to the eggs. Put that and Let's see. You're just addicting over space engineers. Is space engineers the one where you... It's kind of like space Minecraft in a sense. Where you play as like an astronaut and more often not you die because you turn off the inertial dampers and just face plant into a planet. Or at least that's my experience. Use the plumb lock. Okay. Come on. Plumb line. What the fuck is this? Bolts of string. String around a spin. I don't have string for that. I do, but that's. I 
I mean, I'll make it because I have to make it. Jeeves. Right, so we need two spindles. Should be interested to see what you use these. Okay, so bolt string, bolt of fine. This could be a bolt of leather, bolt of hemp cloth. Oh, so you could use leather strips just to make leather cordage without needing to use the string. Okay, that's cool. You. This. This. Mix this. But I am at exactly zero. Oh, but you can see how far down things are. Oh, that's cool. Oh, never going to use it. But, cool. Oh, I didn't use the spindles up. We can go there. Right, next up. Um, bees. We need to make a rustic apiary. this which is stripped logs and planks so how many stripped logs we have no stripped logs so let's strip half of them there's so much fucking um oak bark it's ridiculous Oh, and I need the actual planks then. Okay, so strip logs like that. Plank, plank. When bees are inserted, this will increase crop growth in a floor, sorry, four block radius. Breed bees and creates honeycomb. Well, I happen to have somewhere two bees. I wonder if I need one per. Uh, copy there. Is there an interface in it? Oh, there is. Ah, it takes one B. I think. I have no idea if that's working. Do we need two bees in there? And when bees are inserted, this will increase crop growth in four point radius. Bees breeze and cause honeycomb. Sure. Let's make a second one because I've got two bees. Might as well. Keep things even. Look at particles turned off or something. No, all particles. Huh. Would have thought there'd been some particles for the bees, but I guess not. Oh, and honeycomb. What's honeycomb used for? To make beeswax. And I can get honey that way as well. What is beeswax used for? Beeswax is used to make candles. That's it. Doesn't make it too slowly. Holy shit, it makes the bees pretty quick. Yeah. Right. Flying through these quests. And get rid of the road park. Next up. We need to find pole. And capture a demonic will. Uh there was something with 
bronze ingots. To catch demonic wills. No, maybe it was copper. Anything in here? Okay, let's grab this copper. There's a copper used to make a sort of, sort of, sort of some sort of. I don't know what trowel is used from. Maybe it was tin. Ah, this thing. Rudimentary snare. Throw it on a monster, then kill them to obtain their demonic will. Oh, we need more strength. Of course we do. Well. Some sheep I can go share. So let's do that. I need to keep an eye out for like little surface deposits. I haven't actually explored over this way yet. Not properly to see if there's any like little stone kind of like they look kind of like this except smashed up. Which can denote uh, resources deep below. Because you don't get the usual ore generation in this one. It's different. Mm. What was that I picked up? Okay, fellas. That's fine. Seeing no ores at all. I found one copper and one tin resource pole so far. The copper is almost all dug out. Well, I say that, it's about two thirds, which is still a shit ton. And the tin, there is tons still available. Hmm. Seems to be nothing in the Darklands biome worth mining up. That I can see at the moment. Because the resource kind of like, um, what's it called? deposits um, that appear on the surface denoting there's a big seam in and out. When I say big seam, I'm talking like hundreds of blocks. They get unhid from you once you reach a certain tech level. So at the moment only coal, tin and copper have been hidden. Really, really, really want to find coal because I haven't yet. I have a horrible feeling it's going to be fucking miles away from me. I'm also around and can share some sheep and bird. Where were they though? Oh, I swear I heard them. I also like how the rivers flow. Nice. So if there's water in a river biome, part of the procedurally generated rivers, again, it's not um, water source. It's not source blocks. Well, they are source blocks, but they're not infant source blocks. There's a bear. It's a village over there. Ah, there's the ship. Still no coal deposits found. Hmm. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, it's going to be tin or copper there. So those are the deposits I was talking about. Let me kill these guys and I'll show you. So these things, catatite, ah, samples, that's what they're called. So somewhere down there, probably something like 60 to 70 blocks, there'll be a massive deposit. What I'm looking for is the coal version, which I have yet to find. I don't know whether they are restricted to biomes or not. I really hope not, because that would... Oh, you can shave chickens for feathers! That's brutal. Luckily, they don't have bugs. Ah, oh, come on, where's the coal? I can't keep doing the age old burn logs, make charcoal. Sorry, burn logs, turn them into low grade charcoal, crush that into charcoal. It's just long. Oh my god. There's like no coal around here, is there? Wait, malachite. That's copper. Malachite is copper. I'm basically, I guess I'm looking for like, it'll either be coal deposits or maybe like a bitumen something like that mm. this might require reading a book i like to fumble my way through more often than not but i think in this instance Might have to read the book to see if there's any, like, if they're set only in a certain biomes, maybe? Oh, server, behave yourself. Thank you. So this is tin. There's more tin. Ow. Yeah, love taps from a bony man. Where the hell is the coal? Gone all the way from one village to another village. Also, kind of want to keep away from the river beds because there could be shog off layers around. Those things. Fuck you, Mr. Trumpet Man. Those things are real bad news. So by the time I find a coal deposit, I'm gonna have to just get all of it. I'm about to go towards the savannah. Coal is normally like one of the most common things you can find, but uh, not today, as they say. Oh, buddy, what do you sell? Oh, you're the farmer. Anything good? Ooh, apple seeds. Cotton seeds for baked potatoes. Ooh. Okay. 
cotton seeds would be dull. Meh. Right here, your Fletcher. Your... Oh, okay, 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 we need you. I'm going to have to kill some spiders. Unless I can turn this all blobs into string where I currently am. So that's where I'm getting that book. Not the exact book I'm after, but uh, a book. Actually, make a crafting bench in my actual inventory. Shit, I can't I can. uh, But what if I take four planks? Do I have to do this at the actual regular? Oh, I can. Ow. Oh. White fleece. Oh, it's a fucking flint work thing, isn't it? Which I don't have on me. I don't have any flint either. get some. Just need to get a little bit of flint. Which I guess I can only get from sand if I have a shovel. So some gravel there. Can't see that two flint. Drop left. Or does it already know that this can't be flint? Can't turn gravel just into flint. Oh, of course, I need the fucking mesh. Alright. Fuck this for now, though. Trouble for another day. Um, yeah, I didn't get any string from... Oh, what else did you have for set? So, you've got the mechan... Alright, I think we might have that. Oh, I need hemp fibers anyway. Ah, okay. For that, I need hemp seeds, which I don't think I've got yet. Good amount of sheep lying around. Still no coal nodes. What's this? Wait, don't tell me fucking... Fuck, what actually comes from coal? Shit, is it this stuff? Oh no, I've seen three things like this being Azure Light. Damn, I should have taken my book with me. Um.
and you click on prospecting, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so tin is telonite, copper is malachite. So malachite and telonite. So what was the other one we saw? We saw azulite. I'm sure we saw azulite. Hmm. Okay, that is just cold samples I'm looking for. Keep. I mean, at the same time, I did need a string anyway, so we need to get some wool. So it's a good thing we came this way anyway. Coal is literally going to be like gold when we get it. Better than gold. It's going to be like mithril. If fine, I should stay actually. So you won't be quite far from home. Mm. Mm. Some more sarnies. We head back over the hills, I think. See if we can find some that way. It's tea light. So tea light is tin. Malachite is copper. Oh, and okay, so malachite and azurite, copper, tea light, and castorite are tin. Okay, so I'm not going crazy. Well, I mean, any more than usual, I guess. Keep an eye out for coal samples, which is going to be fucking difficult considering my decision to go back through the forest. Uh, forested hills, I should say. Mm. Turning into a villager. Pretty sure I'm heading home. Yeah, in a rough direction. Yeah, that's my tin. I like the little random farm patches around. Kind of adds a nice level of um, like hunting up coal samples. Oh my god, how am I ever going to find this again? Oh wait, right now I'll find it. Cool. Right. So it's there, there, there. Now dig down here. Didn't bring a shovel with me, stupidly. But I've got two copper picks, and I'm not going back until I have a literal fuck ton of coal. Hopefully, this doesn't get too dark on stream because I also don't have any torches on me. Guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, it's getting dark. 
entertaining viewing. I am set. I wonder if I can transform my... Um, filters? Add a filter. Um, is there a way of gamma ring? Nope. Never mind. Do I have any way of me? Oh, my right here at coal already. Can I? Can I just make using coal? I can make torches. Using stick and plant. Let's do that. Get sticks and the plant might easy enough. Okay, so some sticks this way. Okay, so plant fiber into plant twine. Plant twine, coal. Sticks, torches. Wow, it's the first torches I've made. Let's also get rid of a whole bunch of this crap. Seeds. Fire hemp. Continued hemp seeds. No. Are you something we can just plant? Uh, let's test it. No. Fuck them. Okay, Emmy. Lucky luck away. Okay, let's see. Do we have more? I've only got a little bit of plant wine. Let's get a bit more plant wine on the go so we can make some more torches whilst we go on. Three sticks. Let's get three more sticks. Okay, good. We'll be good to go. No, sadly, it doesn't have Optifine, so I'm not gonna, gonna light myself as like, ah, oh, fuck, I just picked up all this shit. Okay. The torches. Oh, I'm going to make two torches at a time as well. Okay, I guess we're going to be using these sparingly. Let there be light. Get away down into here. God, it's more cold. It always has been. Okay, fuck it. That's what we'll do for now. God. Even with a bronze pickaxe, this takes forever to mine. Is there anything specific we need coal for right now? No, we can use it as a fuel. Uh, we need it in the coal cavern eventually. Uh, and then coal dust it can be used in some big old ritual which I don't need to worry about for now. To make steel and something else. So let's get 
Let's get a stack. And I have to make sure I don't accidentally burn it. A horrible feeling as well. We're only getting one coal per. Yeah, Jesus. Okay. Okay, I'm just going for 32. I know where the coal is, I can always come back for more. Oh, fantastic. We found coal. Marked it on the map. Let's just double check we've marked it on the map. Yes. Can I... Export the map, I can give the map to other people. Cool. Is that how it works? This is writing to file. Well, I guess it makes a like a picture file. I swear, as soon as I come back, if I find a coal deposit 10 meters from my house, I'll be uh, somewhat irritated. My house is always directly opposite now. Ah, that's a fucking shock. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Hammerhead. Fuck off. Ah! 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 No, don't knock me in. Ow! Don't knock me in the water, you fucking assholes. I've been eating a lot of grains. So I'm hoping my uh, food types have gone up for grain. Now I need to worry about fruit. Right, so let's sleep. Okay. Good cow pellet. Right. Uh, we need you. Need. Do I need you anymore? Ah, no, we needed this for that. I think I'm going to keep you in there. Okay, so let's throw away a bunch of crap, which we don't need like that. Don't need rush seeds. Mm. All fiber. Everything else has a heart. Eggs. Okay, let's cook this food. Make some tasty sandwiches. Let's go to the black wall. That into string as well. That. Let's keep it there. We'll put a stack of string in there and the remainder in here. 
longer than bones. This. Rats. You can go in there. You go up here. And sticks. You have gunpowder down here. Do. Coal. I'm going to put in here. Feathers. Spider eyes. Run flesh. Just could cook a potato and a kiln. Now I've got them to cook them up and make them. Except we're just going to use up the, the ones. Okay. I'm back up there. Let's so munch another sandwich and then we'll check out our nutrition. Okay, green is going up. That is good. Vegetables are still high. Protein's going up as well. When you get all of these at a high enough level, um, you get a buff, which gives you, like I've got at the moment, two and a half extra hearts. That's because I have two things above 50%, I believe. So when I get green up, I might get even more hearts, so on and so forth. Okay. So, to make the snare thing, you use tin, right? Tin, ash, and string. So ash, string, and tin. Okay, I'll make four of them. Oh, that was made 16. There's the skelly bobbing almonds around here somewhere. Follow me. I'll get you out in the open, shall we? Let's uh, hurt you a lot. Then kill you? Oh, fuck, maybe kill you? Oh, I don't want to guess. It's fantastic. Two demonic essences. Will quality 1.26 and 0 0.07. Okay, so we need that. Uh, okay, so then we need stone, furnace, a couple of bronze ingots. Any other hostile mobs just having to be still around? You guys in there. Yeah? So we're gonna need stone, cobblestone, what else do we need? Bronze. So first we need an axe. Furnace. Then we have a blood altar. Ah, which gives us the blood. Oh, yeah. Do we have that other book? No, we don't. That's the field one. Oh. Which I don't really need to look at anymore. Now we can go down the old uh, blood magic route, which is such a deep mod. That I don't really want to deal with just yet, but I think we might have to. Ah, I want to make an apple of lofty stature. Because this auto step is fucking annoying. It's an apple onto a blood altar with 1500 blood. Okay. And this is not how you're supposed to do it, but it will work for now. There's my sacrificial dagger. Mm. 
Let's put this next to my food. How much damage does it do? Is it one or one and a half hearts? One heart. Do I have a singular apple? No, of course I fucking don't. What did I need to get the apple saplings? I needed... Fuck, what did I need for the apple saplings? Can I make apple seeds? In the crushing tub. Okay, yeah, fuck it. Let's make a let's make a crushing tub. Let's go find an apple. Pretty sure I have to do that. Right. Now it's enough to go for RNG to be on my side. Should also probably finish off that big ass tree. And there's an app. No, let's let's finish off this tree. It's ugly as all silly me. logs. Are you with me? Better progress on it than I've realised. Good shit. Plenty another log in here somewhere. Maybe not. It's just that one. There we go. off this is worth me getting over there from up there yeah kind of except I'm just Fuck it that day I'll get that Last little bit later. So got my apple. Don't just get just the one. Okay. Now is it a guarantee in the crushing tub? I don't know. Is hoping. Yes. Good. Okay. Now I should have some bone meal still. Sleep. Uh, let's put the apple tree there. Good. Wait, where are the fucking apples? Oh. Ha! Huh. Sweet! <laughs> That's cool. Wait, can we do that on other trees? Can we just do that on oak leaves, I wonder? Probably not. Loads of apples. What can I use the apples for? Apple sprouts, make them, otherwise it's literally just to make apple juice.
Let's see if we have enough blood. Oh, it is fruit, isn't it? So, might as well not miss. Away with you, lofty step. Oh no, shit, no. Yeah. Right. Burning through these. Right, next we have to craft the Necronomicon. Necronomicon. We need some plant cloth. We've still got we've got plain flesh and run flesh. Plant cloth is just plant twine. So there's plant twine. Nine of those, and we need one, two, three, four of that, and one, two, three, four of that. What do you use plant cloth to make? Oh, you can make the antique atlas. Ah, oh, we can make the astral tome as soon as we know how to make parchment. And the mechanist's journal. Glue. How do you make glue? How do you make cauldron? Unfired clay bowl. Oh, we need the cauldron. To make glue. Do we not have do we not have any why would you have cloth? Let's make a cauldron. Actually, let's put away that sacrificial dagger so I don't accidentally kill myself. Let's use, say, 28, no, 27. Okay. So what other books can we make with this? We're going to make the Necronomicon. Done. Let's make some other books. Don't have Aquamarines yet, so we can't make that. Could make the Wooden King. Chisel designs? Field manual. Got the field manual already, right? Yes, we got the field manual. Um, we got the blood magic book. Don't know if we have a cyclic guide. Do we have cyclic guide? No. So for that, use this with this cyclic guide. Now, does the cauldron? It requires heat underneath it. Stoked cauldron is something else. The regular cauldron. Can that make glue? Explosive fuse, cool. Um, bone ingots. Interesting. Or is it only on the stoke thing? Can we run flesh? It's just a regular cauldron, okay. Let's get rid of this one. Okay, 
got a cauldron. Now test this out. Do we need anything in the cauldron? Do we need water? What's doing? I think. This would mean I wouldn't need buffalo teeth to make cogs anymore. If this makes a glue for them, fuck yes. Okay, so can make slime boots apparently. Processing binders, I know how to make that. I can make slime blocks, which means I can make the slime boots. Tasty. Um, wooden blade, sure. And this is what I'm after. So, any planks? What's the belt used with? Oh, it's not a belt to wear. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we saw. Be able to make stairs. Interesting. Okay, so planks. Cog made. Then cog plus cloth gets me the mechanist's journey. Which is for what? Good blocks as it had. Spencer's. Oh, her bad shit. Okay, that's how you get the stoked cauldron. Gotcha. P E. Okay. What's next? Next is to perform dog rituals, you need to collect statues to power your necronomicon. Find sugar flare in the swamps and river bottoms. After six or more spawn, they will eventually erect a monolith with a statue on top. Or craft a statue using the sugar flesh. Okay. Oh, now I have to go to the beneath. Okay, so you go find some shots, which is not the smartest idea I've had. Let's leave the potato cooking. Brick in air. Do that, we'll keep that book with us. Let's take this flint, which we don't really need anymore. Buffalo teeth. Leave the rest of this in there. Like bone, I don't think I need it. Turn. Right, do I go actually try to fight the Shoggoths? Oh yeah, gonna have to. I have to. Well, pretty. Um, let's wait until it's first first thing of the day. Let's do some more hammering. to use the coal for now. No. Don't think there's any coal to well. What that ritual is. It's a ritual. It's 
sleep. You back in there. Let's make sure we have. Mm, take our dowsing rod. We'll also take the rudimentary snares with us. Mm, oh, be right back. Well, no, I just got to do something quickly. Okay, I'm back. Is it daytime? Midday. Fuck it. Shit, is that something we should take with me as well? And let fiber torches. Alright, I'm certain there's a sugar flare in this general direction. Good time to stick. There's always one around here. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. And then. Mm -hmm.
have no idea where Stig is. He must have seen me. Oh, there he, there he goes. That's how he saw me. He's wearing armor. Into the north, east of the old place, west of the old forest, is Tin. To the south of the mine is fucking miles away. It's hot. What's it called? The um sure there's a shot off there close around. Because we're like surrounded by rivers. There's also a village somewhere around here, and there's a shovel there next to that. Just gotta fucking remember where it is. Let me check my map. Uh, doesn't help because I haven't marked it. I think it might be up here. Let's find a can hate these rushes slow down so much. Yeah. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Is it fucking piranhas? Fuck you, Jesus. They pack a punch. Really slow. Oh, mud. These tall rushes slow you down. Um, Where's the village at? What if I missed it already? Um, I think he's just found the copper, which I why I lock mine out. That's what I think's tea. Ah, there's a shovel show us there. That's all I'm after. Now these things are are nasty. And I'm 
expect them to die a lot and lose my armor. Let's click oversaturate. Big nasties. Okay, just to be able to just pull one at a time. Okay, not that bad. Though you can fit through one block, of course they can. Oh, that's a lesser shot off. Hi, hi, hi. And can't shoot yet because I don't have a fucking bow. We can't make one. Oh, this could be a lot of deaths coming yet. Maybe I've got to clear the area around it more. There's my grave. Um, let's take a slightly longer route to get there. I haven't pulled enough of them. Okay. Let's sort out all of this crap. So we'll go sword, sandwich. And what sugar flesh do we need for a totem? Okay. And then, wait. How do I craft? Shit. Okay, so I do need to kill them to get a totem. Fantastic. Um, let's get rid of these trees. They're only going to be in the way. These fucking rushes. I like to get rid of that last little shank of saturation of food. So I'm going to open there. Or the saturate with some more numbing. Yeah. 
Should have got a shovel as well to get rid of this crap. Because this stuff damages your uh, your boots. Mirror in there. Looks like there's. Oh, there are statues. So I could try a cheeky mine down, nab a statue, and then fuck off. Still a lesser shotgun fan. Jesus. Need to see what greater than this. Okay. How many are down there? Oh, they keep respawning, don't they, because of that green shit. Okay, I need to dig down around about here. There's a statue. Oh, server. Please don't shoot yourself. Ah. Ow, oh, fuck, they can hit back. Oh, Jesus. So hard. Are they just less assurance? Oh, let's try. Can I use the monolith stone thing? I will need a monolith stone. Saying words to me. It's green. Oh, 
Sorry. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Think. Sogoth statue. Perfect. But then I need to use this with flesh. And I have the statue. Fantastic. Okay. Now I want to destroy Ow. that spawning stuff, really. So let's go down two or three more layers. I think this one. That's what we want to clear out. I think that's what they spawn. So let's do a round and find it. And what we'll do is we'll mine one piece and place it with uh, the other monolith stone. So I don't know whether they can mine through like wooden planks or such like. End of it, it's just going to be there. The fuck was that noise? <laughs> Sound like a fucking anvil. Oh, did they make another? I mean, they must have made another thing. Right. Thunk, thunk, thunk. I think they made a, another totem. Pretty sure it's the biomass which they spawn. Am I even able to pick it up? Do you think I am? I'll leave that stuff till last. I'm only doing one at a time just in case something falls through. So I'm pretty sure they are large creatures. They have a hard time falling down one pole. They can. They got reached though. Pretty sure that means there's no biomass left. Which hopefully means they can't spawn again. Fuck, they hit so hard. Because it was hot. Huh? Fuck. Because it was hot. Yeah. 
Almost. Hmm? Oh, a shop. You can see. Oh, pack on. Okay. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they can't respawn anymore. However, all my shit is at the bottom of the thing and potentially my grave is now made an opening for them to get out. How's my nutrition doing? I think you lose quite a lot of nutrition when you die. So when I say that out loud, it kind of makes sense. Mud, I think it is. Where's the hole? Somewhere. Here's cross my fingers, my grave is accessible. Yes, okay. Looks like there's just one as well. Bizarre. Oh no, they were still spawning. They're still spawning. Fantastic. So what the fuck do they spawn? Just the darkness level, is that it? Please do not be able to come through a one gap. Giant fuck off spiders. God, they don't stop. There's another statue there. Is this one of the statue they've made, I wonder? Let's, uh,. Let's go around and see what we can see. There's one just under my house. And you made a plank tower. Plank tower. Let's bust in here. There it is. I said fall. Princess. No more spawn that I can see. Yeah. 
Okay, maybe it was just light levels. And this will stop them from spawning. By heart. <laughs> Right, let's grab ourselves another statue. Ooh, Hasta. And then let's grab a bunch of this monolith stone, because I'm sure it'll come in handy. Okay. All in all, one, two, Two deaths? No, three deaths. It's pretty good. For me, that's really good. So much more than I say about that. Only 11. What's its uses? You need some to make a sound. You need, you need probably one sacrificial altar. And maybe a pit. Oh, I'm going to need more shadow gems. Oh, God damn it. Energy relays, energy pedestals, energy collectors. Oh, you can craft them. Monolith stone. Could have crafted them. I'm such a numpty. Farmer's market. Okay. Right. Can we make monolith stone at all? No. Are well, the monolith stone pillars useful? No. Grab ourselves a stack. Monolith stone should be more than our needs for a long time. Because then we can go to the beneath. And then we can start on Astral Sorcery. Which I'm looking forward to. So that's a real fun mod. One with stone rocks. 36. Now I said a stack. Fuck it, that's enough. Cleansed. And let's put this on our map. Delete that. That won't be any more deaths. Or two deaths. Sure. Um, nice ball. Right. Cool. And homeward bound we are. More and more apples. Just remove the fish. There's gonna be no problem. I wonder where that village is. I swear there was a village close to this area, but what is that? I don't have a weird glowing effect on that. It's not a glowing effect, it's just the way the plants go. Fuck, I thought that was a highlighting, something hidden behind the blocks. Any bones? Any bones, please? No sharks, please? How much sugar flesh did I get? 13 plenty, I think, for now.
jump, 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 jump. Oh, fucking Russians. I'm gonna have to build another part of my house. Wait, did this cow die? This is fucking Enderman. Holy shit. It's the first one I've seen. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, so let's do the has to not stash. Da -dum -da -dum. Okay. So now I can go to the beneath. Oh, I have to use an abyssal craft from ritual to create the beneath teleporter. Remember to have PE in your neck and normal comp before starting to replace the beneath teleporter. Okay. Right. Charge your neck and normal con. You can either stand in range of statues on the boat or the pedestal to place the book on. Make sure the statues are three blocks from the pedestal at the same height. Well, let's uh, make another one of you, and then to use you to make the pedestal. No, we'll probably use the monolith stone to make pedestal energy pedestal. It's so. Fucking gems. I need another area of my house. Which marble do I have? Not hard watch. Is that stone? Wait, there's a marble. 50 marble. Okay, let's clear out my punk. Fucking rushes. Rush seeds, one fibers, we said things, one of one. Okay, so if we go up like this, and then from here, I'm turn the step assist off. What? Why is it back on? Uh, Fuck. And then we'll make this, or uh, we'll make this something. So let's make it a nine by nine. So one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Four. So. Okay. Be 
food and the rest we just start. I could try. Yeah, if I can see this. But you need Emmy, because uh, Emmy has very good building skills. <laughs> I've done that right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, this time. I'm actually going to have to go mining for cobblestone. Alright, there we go. Mm. Okay. I don't really want to use fuel to cook this, but it might be... We're going to do some. Bit it out. Couldn't risk us there, monsters nearby. How's my nutrition going? Okay, so um, only good on protein at the moment. Fruit's getting up there though. How much fruit percentage? Two. Vegetables 1.5. Oh wow, cooking the potatoes increases it a lot. So maybe we should try cooking the carrots as well. just makes ash, it doesn't make charcoal. I have to make charcoal still using this. Oh. Okay, so that's what we want to do then. 14 might be enough to fetch it. Actually looking at it. One, and three. Right. These statues down. Knees, maybe? Okay. Hey, I'm so, oh my god, that is so slow. <laughs> oh my god. That's gonna have 20 in it now, isn't it? 30. Okay, so let's have a look at the Beneath Portal. So this ritual requires a thousand PE. And we need... 
blank teleporter, some monolith stone, some coal dust, some gunpowder, and a dark oak fence cake. Okay, we can get all of that. What do we need for the blank teleporter? The blank teleporter we need Corellian Pearl. How the fuck do we make Corellian? Corellian stone is made from Corellium gem clusters. Corellium gems are made from smelting. Underground in ocean and swamp biomes. Ugh. Okay, fine. We need an apprentice blood orb as well. Um, so, how do we make apprentice blood orb? Corellian Pearl or a block of red sun, I don't know. Okay, so we need to make Corellian Pearls. So we need to look in the forbidden knowledge about the overworld. Let's have a read. Um, forbidden knowledge. The overworld. Materials. Uh, abyssal Knight. It's a new ore found in Darklands bones. Stronger than di diamonds. It could be used to create tools, weapons, and armor. We found though we probably don't have access to that yet. Darkstone is a new stuff of stone found in Darklands. Yeah, we found that already. Krillian new ore found in ocean biomes and swamp biomes. Okay. Antimatter? Okay, so we have to I have to go to a swamp farm. Fun. What can we use our I have that. Oh, that would come in super useful because that's definitely for our um starlight stuff. So let's keep you safe. Put the mummy with stones in there. Uh Let's dig up the floor. Ah, that's a terrible idea though. Never mind. I was going to put a wooden popper down. But that's not a great idea. Charcoal. That burns. And some stone when I come back. Fresh. Pedestal. Another death marker. More carrots. This and everything there. Stone sword. I will actually hold on to just as a backup. Okay, so we have to go find a swamp fire. I think it might actually make a shovel. Mm. 
I'm gonna get out of the lines. Nature's compass is going to be able to help us find a swamp. Mm. But we could just go to the ocean. But trying to get underground in the ocean without being, when you can't make doors is difficult unless we can cheese it with rocks. Let's test this hypothesis out. Ooh. We find a too deep section of water. Let's see if this is doable. Makes one out. Oh, you can. I'm a gamer. Okay. So we will go to the. Oh, do I have my dowsing rod on me? I do. Okay. Let's do it. And. Put the apples in there for a moment. Anything new to be seen in this hole? No. Okay, so there is an ocean, I believe, to the far south. It's not quite good. I'm not sure what these things are on the map. Oh, okay, it's a big asshole. Gotcha. Is that a dungeon down there? Oh my god, my eagle eyes. It is a fucking dungeon. Oh, please, please, please just spawn abyssal zombies that drop the shards. Oh, Jesus, they got reach. Okay. I wonder if the abyssal zombies drop the gems. Where it sticks at. I miss having my mini map. It's probably fighting. I can find it again now, Jesus. Can we go around it? This one is around here. I don't know, you've gone further than I realised. Okay.
shouldn't have thrown away my death penalty. Whoops. Fuck, where is it? There's a huge fucking hole in the ground. How have I managed to do the big fucking hole in the ground? Oh my god, I'm such a little potato. I'm almost saying I didn't find the lava before this in. I must have. I need to retrace my steps. Let's go back up, get to the water. Very good. Chomp some food. Looks like they just dropped Brilliant Flesh. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, we know what moss stone is, but what can we use moss stone for? Make creeping moss. Change biome to like shift click inside the biome you want the moss to be. This can make ladders. Okay, it's not used for anything. What do we find in here? As of shards, some bread, saddle, wheat. Stealing bones. Alright. These guys don't chop gems, do they? It's just like the fucking shadow beasts that do it. Oh, that's so annoying. Can you not do it on armor people? Ah, oh, there he is. Maybe he's just strong. 1.85 and 2.9. Wow, that's possibly what it is. Stronger ones require more the uh, things to be thrown at them. Yeah, no point keep on getting those for guys now. It's not what we're after. More south. Fucking coal. There's the mission. Broken angles. Okay, so let's go. Delete that. Add a sort of spore and cook 
Let's go ahead and put a bunch of crap. Mm, yikes. So, let's check the compass now a further away. Still just those darkland bones. Can't seem to find any other decent bones. Now I'm pretty sure this is an ocean. How far can I make a boat yet? No, but I can make a raft. Which is logs and string. Do I have any string on me? I do. Perfect. Let's make a raft. And five logs there. Let's check down another tree. So first things first, let's pick a chopping block. So that I can make some Planks. So I can make a crafting bench so that I can make craft. Tom Hanks style. I'm definitely going to be taking you and you with me. Okay. So, we need a bit of neck. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. You can't find out what the biomes are yet. No. So it's pretty much just a complete guess. This is definitely going to be ocean biome. I'm going to look at that thing down there and show it. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing these are rocks. Okay. <gasps> okay. Let's see. Hmm, what do I see? Some weird black stuff over there. Too high area or anything. So what's this? Is this just dark stone? It is cool stone. Ah, shit. 
No, I don't want to throw it. Alright. So how am I going to do this? I didn't think this through. Nature's compass says under here. Nope. Nature's compass. Useless. And you have a bunch of cobblestone. So in fact, if I... Shit. There's one. Okay, I need to strategically... Make my rock go. Shit. Don't don't drown. Get to the get to the air, get to the air, get to the air, get to the air, get to the air. This is such a stupid idea. Why did I do this? Okay, let's have Let's try again. Can't even place a lock down. Right, uh, torch. Well, okay, that reset. Okay. This is genius. Now I have to do the most cardinal thing of digging down. One more. Okay, now I can start digging in the darkness. Was that a. Okay, let's see. Can I see nothing? <gasps> Trillium ore, two. Okay, okay, so there's Krillium in that direction. Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Gravel is not what you want to find when you're digging under the ocean. Torch further up in the moment just to get a better view. I better have big nodes of it, that's all I'm saying. Because if you have to actually strip mine for this stuff in this mod pack where you're only going to be getting fucking stone, oof. Okay, now we're looking at um, nothing. Could it more still two in that direction? Torch, put the torch down. Should probably be painting the walls as well. Oh, pretty much that way as well. Okay, let's go this way. Let's branch off. In here, bat. Make it seem like there's a cave or something. Now it was within 48 blocks. Hey, Bob! Uh, yeah, because I've literally found coal just a minute ago. 
and I only brought one with me. Um, I can see perfectly fine. <gasps> the fabled rare ore. Um, I can see okay, but I only realised after I went underground that on stream it's probably fucking pitch black. Let's see if... Fucking course it is. Any clues above this that will show us who's here? This fucking grav level room. God damn. But we have one, one gem. And we need lots of it. Oh, of course, I filled up my water trap. Let's pee back down. Man, there is more. Are we actually going to get a decent patch of it? Okay. It's not terrible. Everyone's going to fill in first. So I'm currently deep under the ocean. <laughs> Stig is rapidly catching up with me. Aggression. Hmm? Bingo. Perfect. Any more? Nothing. Some more chromium in that direction. Okay. Ah, it is. Okay, so we do find decent chunks of it. Thank God. I really got worried that it would just be like two or three pieces. But this is good. This might be all we need for a while. Did get another ping this way. But again, it's within 48 blocks, so God knows where it actually is. So I take it, Bob, you've played this quite a bit, have you? Or at least playing it. Sort of. Oh, we can spelunk for the stuff. Quite a bit would be a large understatement. Ah, fair enough. I'm I'm really upset that um, Thorncroft is not part of this mod pack. And that that is my favourite mod for Minecraft. I, oh, that's so good. All iterations of it. But it does have Astral Sorcery, which is a close contender. It is, isn't it, Emmy? Okay. Sorry, everybody. I know you probably can't see anything on stream, but again, this opportunity to spelunk. Oh, there's light in the distance over there. Okay. Possibly lava? You know, ah. Oh. Well, you're outnumbered at the moment, I'm afraid. I love just melting things down, distilling it into like liquid form and then make... It's got... F oh no! It's got Ember's mod. Oh, 
Fuck my life. I just saw a stone golem. I hate embers. I don't know why. I mean, I can understand all of the technical aspects. I just... Me trying to get embers working is like smashing my head against the brick wall. Alright, we're going to GTFO by just digging up. Alright. Okay. I can dig up some oh, Jesus. It's all just wants to go down. This way. How much beryllium do I actually need? Got two and a bit stacks at the moment. But I have a feeling it gets used up quite quickly because you need to turn it into like better things. Let's have a quick look. So this stuff gets turned into you can just cluster it into a number of gems. Okay. So what's the nine gems used for? Nine gems makes Corallium infused stone, which if you smelt, you get the Corallium pearl, which is what we're after. Corallium pearls we use for this stuff. Tin, bronze, block of copper, blood oil, blocks of coal to make the blank tail of water. Oh, we don't have to do the ritual. We could just craft it. Oh, thank God. Okay, sweet. I mean, I will do the Abyssal Prof stuff as well at some point. If we can find water. There's our escape route. Slowly. Let's hope we don't drown. I wonder where my raft is. It's all the way over there. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Ow. 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 Okay. Digging under the ocean was a smart idea. The smarter idea would have been to take a spare raft with me, so I could have surfed it to the surface instantly, and more torches. Probably would have been quicker to go back to the raft. Still, I'm glad I had the great idea of swimming down, putting two rocks onto each other to make an airspace, considering we can't make doors yet. So we need to go make some some pearls so we can make uh, a blood orb. Which means going home. So it's just, I think, just straight north from where we are. Before we do fucking shovel with me the whole time. Uh, before we do that, let's see how far down it is to get to the coal we found. Whether we live or die today is already in the hands of the gods. Fear not, fight well. And if you fall, surely Hello, all of them will take you to Valhalla. Hello, Griffin Eggs. Hello, Nebula Bebula. And thank you so Griffin much. Griffin Eggs is now following. Welcome <laughs> oh, to the Adventurers Guild. Oh, the text of speech is going to go a little bit nuts. And thank you so much for the raid, Yabba, Yabba Bing. I almost called you Yabba Ding. Apologies. How are you doing? What were you up to this evening? Yabba Bing. Why can I not seem to find you? Oh, Yadda Bing. I am a Muppet. There we go. It looks roughly in the same area progression-wise. 
And you played Civ Tech 2. Oh, very cool. So, yeah, so I found Cole. Um, I just went into... I'm just trying to find out how far down it is. I'm not going to be mining it. It's blessedly close to the surface. Okay. I say blessedly close. It's that close. In a nerd pole. I found it whilst I was on my adventures to the ocean to go get some uh, Corellium. I had the uh, smart idea of using two rocks to make an air pocket. And it worked. And then using a torch to get rid of the water after I'd encased myself in cobblestone. However, I didn't think about the return journey. I almost drowned going back to the surface. Now I've just got to get fix it, home. Okay, almost there. Uh, welcome, everybody. I'm Fully Trained Noob. I'm a variety streamer. I stream every Wednesday and then some other weekday evenings and nearly every Saturday. Uh, I work full time, so it's only evening periods I stream. Uh, I'm going to do the shameless plug in of socials. There you go. Oh, Yada Bing is now if following. You follow, Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. The follower emotes are all of my animal companions. This one is Wax. He's a good little gerbil boy who likes cuddles. My head massages. Yeah, hello. Oh. And. His much sleeker, more handsome companion, Wayne. This guy is wriggly AF. He's actually been pretty good on camera, aren't you? Really good boy. Yeah. And we have two bunnies as well, but they are off camera. Down that way. Yeah, welcome. Uh, yeah, so... Um, I haven't streamed Minecraft in quite a while, um, but a kind of community member of mine, Stig, who's over there in the distance, set up a very small server uh, for me, him, and a couple of others. And yeah, we just we just started recently. Normally, I stream things like uh, Crusader Kings, uh, Stellaris, Grimworld, any kind of like strategy games. Or RPGs. I am a massive nerd, okay? As in, huge nerd. I've been DMing Pathfinder and D&D for like 20 years. Christ, I'm old. I'm so old, believe it or not. I'm an old man. But I just barely, barely uh, can consider myself a millennial. Just. So yeah, so this is my this is my lovely house. Uh, I've got a uh, ocelot. Is it ocelot? An ocelot totem under my front door because fuck creepers. Because I still can't make doors. I I swear, I'm gonna be so happy when I can make a door and pressure plates. Um, I'll show you inside in a moment. The roof is where my farm is. Got a couple of little apiaries, which have made me oh wow, fuck ton of honeycomb. Damn, those things breed quick. Um, this is the beginning of my aqueduct. I plan, once I can make water wheels, to pump water from the river over to here and have a big old aqueduct to feed my tiny farm. Um, this is that. One of them. And then up here is the beginning of my magical kind of like altery area. All right, can I make doors now? I can make doors! <laughs> Holy shit, I can make doors, I can make doors. Oh. Son of a bitch. I can make doors. Oh, thank you, Bob. Can I make pressure plates? No, I can't make pressure plates. Mm. 
Da -da -da -da. Wow, that is a sign of civilization. Finally. No more having to jump into my house. <laughs> I'm leave the ocelot statue down there, though. I don't want my front door getting blown up. Oh, thank Christ. I'll fill in the protective moat later. And then in here I've got my tiny little smelter, my blood altar, which I haven't done much with. My horrible bed. Nothing else much of uh, particular loot. But we are trying to make... Um... We're trying to make this. Like, add that there? Yes. So, tin blocks, bronze blocks, copper blocks. I'm pretty sure I can make... Okay, I've got the copper blocks still. So I need to make a tin block. Okay, it's not how you make tin blocks anymore. How do you make tin blocks? Do you have to smelt it again? Oh, you have to re-smelt it? Shit. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> okay. Um, do I even have any... Put the copper back in here. Uh, I've got one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do this. Nine. Okay, we'll eventually have that. So have that black dye powder and blocks of coal. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. Black dye powder we can make from Ink sacks, blank lotuses, okay, that's easy enough. Yeah, so, I don't know, can you hear me? Probably not lurking. It's probably in hardcore gamer time. Uh, right, so we're gonna have the blocks we need. We need the black dye. We need two blocks of coal. Oh, okay, yeah, we need to put. Sleep. Oh, server. What are you doing? Nope. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on, Marcus. Or Stig. I want to sleep. Hey, Stig. <laughs> Whatever you say, Marcus. All right, so Stig. Um, yeah, if you're going to do like the porcelain smelter or the seared brick smelter, it all has to be of the same material. So I did porcelain because um, bone meal. Yeah, Marcus, I need gems as well. Like, we're all going to need more than just the one gem to advance. 
Because to advance from this age, we're going to need even more gems. So then, if you... So you can't alloy in this simple smelter. You can, however... Because I'm ahead of you and I can see what we need. Yeah, it's been three days! Um, so, but you can make... So you can't make the ingot cast. But you can make a casting basin, which makes a block. You then need to make a stone anvil and a stone mallet. You put the block on the stone anvil, smack it with a stone mallet, and it turns it into nine ingots. Um, I mean, I don't think there's any way to do teams, is there? Unless we're... unless... Is there a way to do teams? Uh, we're, we're kind of working together-ish, like, it, I'm not like hoarding all my resources and stopping them. Like, they're welcome to use any of the shit I have. It's not like competitive or anything. Or you can share achievements? How? Oh, mod options? No. Is that a server setup? Oh. Do you guys want to... Okay. Oh. T-O-F-E. Invite. Z I W zero. Need to design then. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Invite. Fuck, how does Marcus spell his Minecraft name? Where it is. There. Ah! Oh! Mwah! Oh. You, you legend. Yeah, now they have to be bottom feeders and feed off my achievements. <laughs> hey, I'm the, I'm the one who had all the advancements. I just gave you all of the shit. <laughs> so I'm not speedrunning, I've now just attached a ball and chain to my ankle so I have to drag through the ages. <laughs> oh, so... Oh yeah, I need to squash some coal. Yeah, I'm not stuck with you. Well, I mean, there's worse people to get stuck with. Right, so... Fuck off! Oh, you s fucking creepers! Oh, I need to destroy this. I think I have one else back at the base. It was his that got blown up. Uh, here's mine. Never put it down. <laughs> Let's grab that. Let's grab that. And then let's do this again. Okay, so. Okay, I guess I could put a totem above it. I look dog shit. I, I could put it next to it, can't I? Pop you back there. Yeah. And then... So, I'm still an ocelot. Base. Ocelot's good, that's done. Now we need to... Fill in the dirt. 
We only need one layer. Not like a creeper can blow this one up again. Well, you said it had to look pretty, huh? It's granite shoes, fuck, is it? Alright, then. Oh, did we lose the lead? Did. Oh, okay, we never used this chaffle one. Come on, buddy. Right, so, um, we want two blocks of coal. Come back later. Give me some more sandwiches. Okay, so two blocks of coal being made, black dye powder, I think we've got... Do we just need the one ink sack, I think? Make two? Yep. Labour intensive. Pulling a lever back and forth, okay. Got there, we're gonna have the tin any moment. Now we just need to make the Corellian Pearl and the Blood or Blood or we need two Corellian Pearls, which means we need two. We need nine gems worth. This we need to grab the stone. Then we just smelt this, right? Yeah. And we can smelt it for free on this thing. Time to sort out whilst that stuff is getting smushed. Let's dump that in there. There's our block of copper. Are we going to have to melt the bronze to make a block? Fuck, we are, aren't we? Can we, can we use this in the blast thing? No, we have to do it in the ingot so we can... This is this melts relatively quickly. I think we'll have pretty much everything. Here's our Corellian pearls. Now to make the apprentice blood orb, we need five thousand blood. I have no idea. So let's go stab ourselves a bunch of times. Probably have enough blood. Let's find out. Check back with you later. Let's go see if we can get lots of coal. Oh, we've got some charcoal blocks. Oh, yes. Okay, I think all we need is the apprentice blood. Do we need a oh do we need a higher rank? Oh we need a tier two. Um God damn. Okay. Oh yeah, because we need the apprentice blood. Okay. We're so close. We just need to make this a tier two. Oops. 
Shrink all of these up. So I'm pretty sure you can break them back down again. Yeah. You and there. Shuffle. Something else in here that shouldn't be in here. Yes, this stone. Limestone and marble slate. Throw in pearls in, the bones and the stuff can go up here. Okay, so we need to get tier 2 blood altar. Okay, it's the altar. No, that's not going to be after. How do I go back? Ah. Architect. The blood altar. Okay, two main uses of the altar, either for crafting items or for filling up one's blood roll. Mm. Fill up the basin, two forms, monsters and peaceful creatures and the player's own health. Mm. Now during life, yes we know that. Mm. Past your 10,000, you right click on the altar, you can place an item into the basin, yep, that. How do we make it a higher tier? I believe it's something to do with... Yeah, upgrading your ult. There we go. So you go through the mod, you'll slowly learn the humble blood ult for you. Not powerful enough for you to fulfill your true ambitions. Placing special blocks known as blood runes around the altar. They would expand the altar's strength significantly. You can higher tiers, a recipe, and to augment your abilities at the altar. Okay. To grab the altar to a second tier, you need to place eight blood runes around the altar and one level lower. Confuse spells, the precise configuration, um, the item Inspectorus Scandalum can tell you the precise placement for the boss part of the next tier. Okay, so Inspectorus, let's make one of those. Uh, oh, we just stick a uh, plant cloth, which I think we've got one left of somewhere. Yeah, into the blood. Water. Okay. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, we can't right click, pick it up. Damn. This is probably going to get rid of all of my blood. But let's move it up here. So, eight around it. Let's. Use this as a placeholder. Yeah, didn't think it would. Okay. So now we need to make some blood runes. Why does this book work? Next year, blood is missing a, missing a blood rune. Here, I'm guessing, because we don't can't view coordinates, so there's no fucking use right now. Yeah. So, blood runes. And many types. Speed runes, efficiency runes, sacrifice runes, and self-sacrifice. Self-sacrifice require Reinforced slate, blank runes. Okay. How do we make a weak blood? Okay, so we can't. So we can only make the. 
if I have it, make a re. So weak blood orb is either a diamond or coagulated blood. Uh, rotten flesh. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Got some wrong flesh somewhere, haven't we? Where did my wrong flesh go? Fuck. I turned it all into glue. I'm an idiot. Uh, Stig, Marcus, you guys got any, um, Rotten Flesh? Uh, I'm gonna have to bleed myself. So, I'm guessing Weak Blood Orb is the... Yeah, because Weak Blood Orb is the first. So I actually need to make a casting bench. I'm pretty sure I've got that. Yeah. Right, any any of you guys can spare would be fantastic. Um, what how quickly this stuff melts. Okay. Uh Another way of getting blood, maybe. Thank you. Wait, right, we can make. Okay, casting takes one. Okay, yeah, one block of blood makes one thing. Raw flesh makes forty miller buckets. Okay, hopefully ten's enough. I guess we'll find out. And there's a tin block for when we need it. And animal fat was for fish traps. That can go in there. And anything else that should not be in here. No, no, it looks like it could be in here. Well, I guess we can get rid of the diorites, the dirt, and the andesite. I'll leave the gravel. Prepare? Yeah. Okay. And then, whilst we're waiting for all that stuff to melt and smelt. Turn that. Some, some string. Okay, how are we looking? God, okay, bronze takes a while to small. Alright, oh, I should really leave. Oh yeah, sorry Marcus, I forgot you're probably killing stuff in the Darklands. Come on, hurry up. And speed runes. Okay, so each blank rune requires just stone and blank slates. Blank slates are stone in the blood altar. Okay, so I need a lot of blood in the blood altar. Hey Marcus Stig, if you're not busy, do you want to just um cut yourself over my blood altar? You can use the same knife as me. It's sanitary, don't worry. Only if you have spare time. Don't take me away from what you're currently doing. <laughs> ah, my minions.
Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the blood drive. Oh, wow, I love your Cthulhu mask, Marcus. Uh, just right-click with that. Uh, standing, like, close to the altar. It will hurt you every time you do it. So be... No, just right-click in, like, uh, in the space. In the air. Just don't kill yourself. It does one heart damage every time. And for your troubles, yeah, they're not. They're they're uh, chicken rolls. I made I made some of them with chicken. I gave those ones to you, Marcus, because now you like them. Jesus, thank you, Stig. Um, yeah, yeah, chicken fillet rolls, yeah. Uh, you like it uh, spicy, mayo, cut in half, right? You don't have to kill yourself, Stig. Just, there's enough, there's enough. I think it's full. <laughs> spicy, chipotle, mayo. Ah, oh, cheese. I forgot the cheese. Okay. All right. Enough of that and that. I now need to get stone going. Okay. So we've got 520 millibuttons. So was it 12, 13 got us that? So each... I think a miller bucket is literally a thousand buckets, so if each each rotten flesh makes 40, 5 gets us 200, so we need 25 rotten flesh, I believe. Oh no, we've got oh, 600 miller buckets makes a block. Fantastic. I'll make us all uh, apprentice blood orbs because I think this will get us four blood. One, 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 one. What is that, Marcus? Looks like a big metal fan. I think this is enough blood for it. it. Should be. It takes a while, maybe. We're just draining the blood. You have Cthulhu Steve. Well, I have a statue to. Oh, I don't have a Cthulhu statue. I've got two statues over here, though. Yog so uh, Yog Sothoth and Haston. Look, Morty, I turned myself into a Cthulhu. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. No, no. Give me back that. Thank you. Okay. There's yours, Marcus. I'm just probably going to get the stone. I can start making some slates and stuff. Uh, stone. You got 26? No, I've got a stack in here. Uh, it is a blood orb. Sorry, no, it's um, an apprentice blood orb. It's used for the blood magic mod. It can store blood. There you go. More like one. So you can you can use it to store blood. It's like a blood battery, and you use the blood in the blood magic kind of rituals and such. 
Yeah, well, this is literally sanguine sorcery. I'm going to have to make more sandwiches. They're really good. Oh my god, my protein is max. My grain is also max as well. It's just from bleeding myself and eating sandwiches. As any good blood magician does. What else can I use this blood for? I can make congealed blood boots. <laughs> I can also make a slime block, which I could then break down into slime balls. That could be a good thing. Um, and then it can be used for regular slime ball stuff, by the looks of it. And we can also make a, co a coagulated blood drop, which is a food item. Right. So we've got the weakest of all orbs. We could use that to make blank runes. We need a blank rune. Okay, so we need eight blank runes. Eight blank runes, and then we also need what reinforced slates. Oh, okay, so we can't make any of these special ones. Oh, yeah, so we can make the we can make the speed ones because they just require that. We can't make the don't have the recipe for that. Rune of sacrifice we can't make because we need reinforced sacrifice. We can't make. So we might as well just make this. So for this, we need 16 blank slates, which is just 16 stone ingots. Food in my pack. Apples. Apples are do. Oh, actually, speaking of which, let's get rid of that fucking auto step. Blood magic is not quick, is it? So once we have 16 of these. Make the speed runes with new sugar. And it just saves us a couple of stone. Does this, let's read the book and see what the runes do. If the speed rune speeds up the crafting, it could be cool. Or is it just movement speed? I have a feeling it's movement speed. Uh, oh no, it is quicker. Okay. Oh, each speed rune increases the consumption of the altar by 20% per rune, effectively increasing the speed of the altar. It also affects the speed by which the blood orbs are filled by the altar at the same rate per rune. Okay, we're making these speed runes. Um, so for speed runes, we need. 16 sugar, which we can make in, oh, we can get two, so we just need eight smushed in our tub. Um, there's, oh shit, there's six, seven, eight, perfect. Okay, there's that. Stig's catching up on the automation stuff. Okay, because that shit is fun. I'm I'm a big fan of farming stuff. I cannot wait until we get mystical agriculture.
Oh yeah, if you can get the coke oven up and running. You want to get into building shit, to be honest. Well, Marcus, the um, the blood magic. It's all about building and making an even better blood altar with ever increasing tiers of runes and stuff like that, and you can use the the runes of blood magic to be able to like kind of have spells. It's almost like programming in a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build a really cool temple. And then you also like um, astral sorcery. Because astral sorcery, um, you need to build kind of open air things because it's all about getting starlight down. But you can make some really cool looking stuff out of that as well using like marble, which is a big part of the, um, the building requirements for that. So both of those mods lend themselves to having really cool like buildings around them. Same thing actually with the uh, abyssal craft. Like if you want to make like a proper Cthulhu temple using like monolith stone and these statues. You know, speaking of which, I should probably have my Necronomicon in my hotbar while I'm here. Is it going to charge without me having it in my hand? Or it have to be down here? Down a level? Have to have it out. Um, I think Marcus, there is something in this mod pack called a bagger. Let me see if I can find it. Cool, Chrome's crashed. Makes a great start. Um, if you do, you know what the bagger is? Let's see. Um, Minecraft Sev Tech. Bagger. I think that's what it's called. I vaguely remember this from fucking eons ago. It's a massive multi block structure. Uh... No, maybe it's not called. This is a double GA. So, no, can't find it. When you combine actual sorcery and blood magic, it gets really ridiculous as each has features that lets you choose the other. Oh, okay. Like infinite way of making blood. Like, oh wait, isn't does it actually sorcery allow you to spawn stuff? I'm trying to think. So we need sixteen blank slots. Okay. Region two actual sorcery makes the blood auto pretty. Oh, yeah, that 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 makes sense. <laughs> of course you can, Marcus. Just use any of the cows you want. Actually, do any of the totems give regen? I don't think they do. I think they give you, like, speed, strength, Things can't blow up. Toughness, but slowed down. Jump height and slow fall. Don't think there's a region one. That's a shame. Shift right click. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. I'm good for the raw flesh now, but. Thank you. So you didn't fire it. Really bad stutters. Um, no, well, every now and again, 
like once every, I don't know, half hour, maybe once every hour. Um, the game freezes for like 10 seconds. Oh, or the, mo or the server crashes. Thanks, Marcus. <laughs> you cursed it, didn't you? Oh, dear. Please don't have crashed my game. Please just dump me back to the main menu. It was, I was just eating an apple. <laughs> Looks like the server's still up, though. I don't know what happened there. Did anyone else get... You guys got booted out as well, didn't you? Yeah, uh, oh yeah, and Stig, to fire the faucet. Um, oh, okay. Okay, you guys, we're going to have to log about syncing team data in, 30, in 20 seconds. Uh, hopefully it gives us back our achievements. Okay, let me disconnect and reconnect. Yeah, server had an oopsie. Okay. I think I logged in too quickly. Yeah, to fire the faucet, you can't use... I don't... I couldn't get mine to work in the kill. I had to use the... Oven tray thing. There we go, that's better. Let's, uh, let's make those speed rooms. So, only blank ones. Can okay, we use these and stone? Oh, more blank slates. Oof. Okay. So this and more blank slates. The speed ones, yeah, okay. Man, it's gonna take a lot. But I think making a speed rune will speed things up. So even though it's gonna take longer for us to get a tier two thing. Might be a quicker way of doing it. I don't know how much blood I can get. Get a cow all the way up here is going to be impossible. I wonder if I can pick up a cow. Let me try that. <gasps> I can! I can pick up a cow! Doop, 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 doop. Don't, don't jump off. Everything, don't, don't do it. Be back down. Now the sacrificial knife. I can't do it when he's running away. I can, I can know when he's calmed down. Yeah, yeah, I, I was just going to, I wanted to get him lower on health. Because 
the dagger does such pitiful damage. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's still got a bit of health back. Wow, that dagger does literally bugger all damage. Okay. I dub the dead. Oh, I need a dagger of sacrifice, not a sacrificial dagger. <laughs> Fuck. I misread. All right. Uh, dagger. Dagger of sacrifice is either a black wall sword or an um. Okay, black walls. Uh, crush black wall. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh well, I guess it's just my blood for now. <laughs> well, it was worth learning. Oh, cow pal, oh, man, we've got enough cows. Clearly, I need more bread for this. Actually, probably be better off doing veggies. So let's roast some potatoes. Uh, we were grinding something. No, we won't, because it's dead. Let's grab the baked potatoes and cook some more baked potatoes. Let's see, it goes from 0.5 to what, I wonder, and it goes from 0.5 to 2.5, okay. So we get a whole 2 extra percent of veggies. Potatoes, and the same thing with beetroot. Oh Jesus, that does a lot more than the dagger does. Can you kill yourself with this? Yes, you can. Okay. Good. I mean... No, I don't want to cheese it. But now we're full again. That on there. Uh, when Stig's back, the one in my backpack is back in. Stone slate things. I guess we can put down the blank ones and start getting there. Let's just leave that blank. I think I'll go with four speed runes. Makes it 80% 80, 80 quicker. Oh, markers left. Joined and left. Oh dear. You guys having issues? I mean, I guess the blood altar is good for one thing. That's getting your nutrition levels up. <laughs> Death made me take a hit to my protein and grain, annoyingly.
Right, so we've got four, so that's two more. So we'll use two, four, so that's one more speed room. So we need eight to make the last speed rooms. And then we just need a bunch more. And then we need another four. Yeah, so we need 12 in total. No, I won't. Okay, I did. I did wonder whether the blood or okay. So each. Hmm. I don't know how much blood it requires. Let's see. So we'll do one stab at a time. I need to eat anyway. Two, three, four, I hope this isn't wasting blood, five, I have a feeling this is wasting. Oh, 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 oh. Fucker. Six. Shit, I think it is wasting blood. Okay. Mm. Bollocks. Well, stick, I have a present for you. Uh, there you go. There's your very own blood orb. Oh, thank you for the potatoes. Oh, yeah, this, this thing, the stone grill, it's fucking brilliant. You can put 16 things on at a time, doesn't take any fuel. It's great. Wheat. Let's go ahead and do this whilst I heal. I don't think I have any bread left. No. So, do we have anything that gives me big? Mine's been good. Really, each week gives us just okay. I'll be off with that. And I'll just go to the old potatoes. Sixteen should be enough. You served yourself too much coal. Yeah. All right. So we need eight. Three more. I will have a tier 2 altar, and then we need to fill it with blood again to make a tier 2 blood orb so that we can make a portal to the beneath where I think is where we can get the aquamarines to start astral sorcery. Jesus Christ. A million steps. Okay, last one. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, 
Mm, I guess I can go make the other stuff whilst I heal up. Let's cook some mystery meat. Use you. Check that. Use you. Two. That. I can never remember. <laughs> Poor memory. Oh, I did only have the one down. Okay. Let's go with that. Speed rune. Speed rune. Blank rune. So yes, we need three more. Okay. I'm not sure if these will affect the blood altar until all eight things are around it. I have a feeling they won't. Okay, and that should be the last three we need to make the last speed rune, which should give us a tier two altar. <laughs> Use you. Oh, wait. Need one more. Can't do math. Even knows what do I do for a living? And then as soon as I'm off out of work, uh, that's work brain. We'll turn that off as quickly as fucking possible. All right. Use you. Make this. Be there. This should. I mean, it's a tier two. Next tier, Blood Altar is missing a solid block. Does that have to be a solid block underneath it? I don't know what tier it is. Oh, I guess I can test it by part, by putting a Corellian Pearl in there. Unless... can I just upgrade this on the Blood Altar? No, okay. You literally have to make one then the other. You know, just upgrade your stone. This is my Corellian Pearl. Let's see if this even bubbles away. If it does, it means it's tier 2. If it doesn't, it means I've done something wrong. Bubbling away. I did something right. Keep topping it up just to be safe. God, how much blood does it need? Fuck me, that requires more blood than I could possibly give it. Yeah. Oh, bollocks.
Hmm. Maybe Miss Book the Towers. Let's have a look. So There's, uh, was it a divination stone or something? Yeah, this thing. Which requires ash in an alchemy array? What the fuck is an alchemy array? How do you make an alchemy array? Either way, we're going to need one more blank slate. Uh, this requires 5,000 blood points. Okay. Why, you stupid markers? What have you done? Oh, did you plant a bunch of trees on top of your house or something? Hmm. Right. So... I, I, yeah, I'm kind of talking to myself as well. Okay, it's Blood Altar. Divination Sigil. When you right click Blood Altar, you can see the amount of LP inside. That's cool. What's. Oh, wait, the Alchemist. Okay. Introduction. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Quiddle Exchange. You clearly watched from Metal Alchemist. Okay. I have nothing at all. Arcane Ash, uh, I think we've already got that, it's just by burning shit. Burning Furnace away. Coal plus Redstone does something. No, no, I want... Alchemy Array. Google. Google will tell me. Um, now is added by uh, created with arcane ashes. Oh. It's something I paint on the ground. Okay, I don't have those ashes yet. I've just got regular ash. Arcane ashes is made in the Hellfire Forge with white dye, charcoal, gunpowder, and ash. Hellfire Forge. Hellfire Forge we can make. Now, <laughs> empty a basin, uh, break it, and you'll lose everything in there, though. Let's 
Cut Fly Forge needs that plus that. Bronzing got on stone. What am I missing? Stone? Holy oh, shit. Oops. I need to take that off my auto thing. I used all of my stone up already. I'm gonna cook some more. Jesus Christ, this is slow. Any stone left in here? Can't believe I used up all of that stone. Did I actually use it all up or did I put some in my bag? Used it all up. Five, and any moment now, poop one out for me. Right, so. Hellfire Forge. Made. Okay. Uh, let's pop you here. Oh my god, what? Okay, so this... Oh, okay, so the four things around it. So, Ash, Gunpowder, Charcoal, Light Dive Powder. I think we've got some spare... Like die powder somewhere. Why die powder? Um, Gunpowder, charcoal, and ash. Um, one ash. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's uh, make a bit more. Okay, so white powder, charcoal, that, that. Oh, does it need. Oh, yeah, and then we need to put a ghost thingy in there, don't we? Hey! Oh, I didn't use it up. Can we use part of its quality? Okay, so we use the arcane ash. And the alchemy array to turn. regular ash into a divination situation. Okay. And then for that, we need a blank. My inventory is filling up with shit. I need to dump it back in the chests. Um, sugar. Let's just make ash that cool. Okay, so Ash plus blank slate makes divination decision. Okay, so I use the arcane ash on the ground. Then I put some ash on it and a work in progress. <laughs> Love it. 
Hey, we have a divination sigil. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. We've got uh, 2,220. Now we've got 2,400. Okay, so each stab is 200 blood points. Okay, so getting to 5,000 shouldn't be too bad. We must have been so close. I'm pretty sure it's 5,000 you need to make. Yeah. Um, I have no idea, Stig. What do you need it for? I need to stab myself five more times. A windmill. Really? You need it for a windmill? Aren't you trying to build stuff? Uh, yes, they do, Marcus. Have a look at the um, the squeezer thing. The thing between our two bases. I put a chest above a hopper which is directly above the squeezer and then a hopper underneath the squeezer into a chest and then if you need anything squeezed dump it in the top it will do all the squeezing and the squeeze stuff will dump out into the bottom chest a wooden axle needs it oh uh, but maybe I don't know how you get it. Have we got that far? Oops. Okay, that should be the 5,000 we need. In with the pearl. All right. I've, I'm just at um, pedalist pedestal in for time and I can't find a jungle. Oh, unless I can do all of this, I can do all of this stuff. It's not locked. Because the purples are optional. Travel to the bottom of the beneath dimension to find the black quartz. I'm currently trying to get the second tier blood orb which will allow me to make the portal stone to the beneath. That's where you can get it from. Come on, you must be almost done. Da 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 da! Apprentice Blood Orb. And with this, we can make somewhere blank teleporter. Which is step one. Do I have a bobber? Yes. So uh, in the double chest near my front door, it's got all of my random shit and tools in there. Okay, so now, using the apprentice blood orb, let's make this. I need the blocks of coal. That's what I need. Oh, there's a skelly one there. It's daytime. Oh. Must have already done it. Okay. Running low on food again. Uh. Uh, blocks of coal. How many blocks of coal? Ah, oh, here we go. Blocks of coal. Then we need the tin block and the black dye powder. Tin block and black dye powder. Okay. Blank teleporter. Oh, in the Corellian power. 
done. Now, we have to do a necromantic ritual. And for this, I need some coal dust, gunpowder, monolith stone, which we've got, dark oak fence gate. I don't know if we found any dark oak trees. And a demonic will. We've got a demonic will. I need to charge up my book. There's only got 170 in there at the moment. Um, okay, so how do I make the pedestals? What is it? Um, energy pedestal? Is that the right one? Progression. Line of progression. This will craft. Maybe some the materials. Can you? No, it's not on the materials. Special armor and tools. No. Um. Hidden knowledge. Potential energy. Information. Okay. So shot off the monoliths also constructed with more stone. Yes, the name whilst having statues placed on these pretty statues can collect PE. There's a lesser shop is okay. Blah. Okay. Notice that your harvest computer doesn't appreciate this because of disruptions to play. Okay, disruptions around random event, blah blah. Statues are limited P. When placed on monolith stone pillar blocks, statues range can be increased by up to two blocks. Okay. Statues on pillars can transfer energy to collectors further down. One way to boost the efficiency of statues and other PM is through the use of ritual charms. They can boost their stats. Energy depositioner is another P manipulator. It works like a generator. Now with a fuel or stone tablets just no, I don't want to that. Energy puzzle which you can collect. Ah, this is what I want. I want the energy pedestal. Okay, so I want the energy pedestal. Yeah, he's trying to jump ahead. Okay, it's so energy. Oh, fuck, I need a shadow gem. Oh, well, looks like it's nighttime hunting. Because I'm. Oh, wait, I might have enough. Nope, because that'll only make me three more shards. Is there no easy way of getting? There's no easy way of getting these, is there? Goes there. Just cow hide there. Just 
Yes. Have any other food I can take with me? Got some cooked mutton. And some monster jerky. I can. Uh, there is no sleep. We need to hunt for shadow blocks. Annoying me. Getting close to night? No. Fuck. Okay, so we're currently held up needing to get shadow gems. Stig, if you look at the if you look at the advancement thing and you hover over par for the quartz, it says Travel to the bottom of the beneath dimension to find black quartz. The quest before that is the beneath. Use an abyssal craft ritual to create the beneath teleporter. Um, basically, I need to charge up my Necronomicon with PE from these statues. It's currently got 185. It gets five every, I don't know, six seconds from each statue. We also need, um, we also need a shadow gem. No, we don't need a Shadow Gem. A Shadow Gem would just allow me to... Actually, I wonder if I can... Will it charge the... Oh, will charge the book if I stick it there. All right? Is that doing it? Okay, I don't want it to despawn, though. So I need something which I can put it on. That'll let it charge up. So let's have a look at what things we can stick it on. Okay. Let's see if the anvil works. As a temporary... Thing. Please work. Oh. That was too much to ask, wasn't it? Okay, what about putting it on... on the blood altar? Is it going to shoot it into the blood altar? No. Uh, can I, would it work on a picture frame? Can I even make a picture frame? Probably won't. Uh, oh, okay, we need mouldings. Shift click with both hands to empty rotate. Oh, it won't work, okay. I think the easiest thing is just to get a shadow gem because otherwise. Yeah, but oh my god, it'll take forever. Oh. We can make more statues, that'd make it quicker. Um, where's the Corellium Flesh? Get the Sugar Flesh. I could have sworn there was a way of making... Yeah, okay, so clay... Okay, so what kind of statues can we make? So we need either cyan, orange, yellow, black, grey... Okay, I think I have some dyes just lying around somewhere. Uh, here's some yellow. Red might work. I don't know if brown works. I think we can make two more statues. Let's see. Uh, oh, and then I need the... Where is it? Alright. 
Did it like that? Ah, monolith stone. Okay. Okay, so monolith stone plus clay. Red do anything? No. Brown? No. Yellow? Make another Hastola statue. Let's go make all of the statues. I need all the colours under the rainbow. It's not a it's blue. And you'll be orange. And what about yellow? Ah, definitely orange. And then where are the black flowers? And that's fine. Should be plenty. So let's see, what kind of colours can we use? We can use Cyan would get us Cthulhu. Um, hold down shift and then with an empty hand right click it. You can just pick it up. Okay, so we've got the right, why did it go? Oh right, we've still got fucking wheat in there, haven't we? Okay, so we can make a couple of Cthulhu statues. Who else are we missing? Um, we got Yogg-Sothoth upstairs, we've got Hasto. So we want black, grey. Oh, I want a North, not North Ops, we need a blue dye. That might be blue. That might be blue. That's probably not blue, but let's grind those three up and use whatever colours they give us. Never know which direction it's going to splurt out. Hey, you got blue. Fantastic. Oh, more blue. Too exhausted. And purple. Okay, right. So this this plus cyan. We get a Cthulhu one. Uh, yellow. We don't want. Purple gets us as as a off. Blue gets us nothing. Then we surround it in Shoggoth flesh. Yeah, we can only make two. So let's go and make the. Flowers and uh, busts, flowers coming useful later, I guess. I don't have to hunt around for them, and I'll throw these other ones away. 
Oh, it's a button. Alright, oh, um, some Wolverstein killers as well. So now hopefully all four of them will start shooting at me. Let's get closer, I have to get closer. God, this is gonna be slow though. Uh how much do we need? We need a thousand. And we're at 320, we're getting 5, 10, 15, 20 every now and again. Right, this is definitely going to be a um, I go AFK kind of deal. So I'm going to go hunting for shadow gems. Uh, being able to get a pedestal to put the book on would be much better. Into the dark forbidden forest I go. Hey, there's Smokey Boy. Come here, you fucker. Uh, through the shadow essences. <laughs> Some more smoke. Let's uh, keep an eye. If I get the singular full on shadow gem, I'll just GTFO. <laughs> Smoke around somewhere. Where'd she go? Ah, oh, it's a little baby. Fuck you. Stole my shadow gems. Okay, swear I smell smoke. Nope. There's some smoke. Okay, two more. I should be able to make a gem. Fucking rushes. So the first thing I do when I get a digital miner is I'm going to set it to find the rush bushes and destroy them. Oh, hello. Depth. Anything? Stone sword. Fantastic. Oh crap, you got hit hard. Eight. And fuck off with me, you guys don't drop anything. Just looking for the smoke. Yeah, for smoke particles like that over there. Well, that might have just been a purple glowy tree. It was a purple glowy tree. Smoke monsters. I wish there was like a water candle from 
Oh, I thought that stick. Oh, he just left. Okay. I like a water candle from Terraria. Though. This is spawn rates would be good. Stig be napping. Fair enough. Time is it? I will also be calling it very shortly. So I want to make that pedestal before I go. So that we can charge up. Stop spawning soon. Ooh, looks like they have. Bit of ray. Come on, one more smoky boy. That's all we need. Man, what the fuck are they at? This is the quietest I've ever had this forest be. It's usually full of mobs. And dawn approaches. Maybe I have some other little shards back at base. I'm not going down there. You get logs, by the way, give them to me sort of a wooden string. Man, the amount of logs I go through is ridiculous. Honest, both, but mostly planks. Why are you still aggro, you fuck? Good god. Sorry. Let's have a look at your industry, your log industry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I love it. You got three of them set up, chopping away. Very cool. Ah, one for each log type, huh? Oh, holy shit, the amount of dark oak planks you got. Very cool. You know what you need to do next, Marcus? Uh, oh no, that wouldn't work, never mind. Ignore me. Yeah, 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 I'll be dumping logs in there from now on and taking logs from it. Uh, this is the automatic squeezer I set up down here, if you've seen already. The only thing we haven't got set up automated-wise is a grinder. Yes, I will strip the ones that can be stripped. So, oh yes, two shadow gems. Oh, and a bunch of fragments. Okay. Oh, and this is in the fucking press, isn't that? Okay. Right, so. Nine of those make a shadow gem. Uh, you make a door like you usually do. Six planks. Oh, shadow gem. Got. Wait, I got two? Oh, you fucking looted a shadow gem? Uh, 
I think you you can make any of the old like the old um, age stuff in the regular crafting bench and any recipes you've unlocked. For instance, I can't make pressure plates yet. But you can make doors. So as we go, as we advance in ages, more recipes will get unlocked for us. But apparently doors are already unlocked. So keep it in mind open. Okay, so we want an energy pedestal. So for that I need enough Krillium Pearl. That and this and stone. And we smelt that. Is the only is that the only thing we're missing? Yes, fantastic. Um, energy pedestal. Bizarre. I just realized we're going to need another tower like the one I built for the blood ritual, but for the Necronomicon stuff. Hey, please work. Do you need to be higher? Or do you need to be further away? So that doesn't quite look right. I can. Oh, the, yeah, they can't be too close. Okay. If we go here, now they're too low, aren't they? We'll be doing it. Ah, oh, huzzah! Thing, all right? I'm gonna double check again. Wait for it to fire. Sweet. All right, Marcus and Stig, if you're still there. Tomorrow, we can do, we can, we'll have to build an area for our Necro, uh, Necronomicon Abyssal um, uh, It's late, words are failing me. Conjuration Magical Rituals, that's the fucking, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, because we need to let this book charge up. Let's see if there's anything else I can do with this in the meantime. Hellfire thing. Make something I can't use. This makes stuff we can't use yet. Pressing and grinding. Okay, so there's no other use for the Shadow Gems just yet. How's it looking? 600. We'll just leave that to go. Go outside. Eat some food. Okay. Oh, are the other two not doing it? Whoops. Eh, fucking door. Thought they were all doing it. Ah, no, these guys aren't doing it, are they? Uh... Fuck. I 
put it here. Maybe. Okay, that one's good. Oh. Okay. One of them's getting it. Two of them are getting it. Three of them are getting it. You're not, because you're not quite close enough. Okay. Oh no, you're doing it. You're doing it. Okay, all four of them are doing it. Fantastic. It's a bit janky, but until we have a dedicated spot for it. Ooh, it's close. Until we have a dedicated spot for it, this will have to do. Current essence is 3,004. All right. Just ignore that, Marcus. There's nothing to worry about. It's just the dark gods getting unhappy. All right. Uh, let's see if anyone I know is doing the old streaming thing. Nope, they've all gone to bed like smart cookies they are. Uh... Oh, thank you for the follow, Bob. I appreciate it. Uh, Bob 8765 do... <laughs> is now following. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. I uh, I do announce, shameless plug in the socials, when I go live on the Twitters and the Discords. I will potentially be streaming this tomorrow it depends whether some of the other people i play games with are going to be playing shiv 2 or not as in chivalry 2 if a bunch of people are playing chivalry 2 tomorrow and streaming i might join them streaming chivalry 2 because i haven't played it in a few days and it's a lot of fun otherwise i'm playing more of this tomorrow um i won't be streaming on friday because i'm playing pathfinder then I'll be back at this again on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. So, until next time, stay safe. See you soon. Or wash your fucking hands. Night, guys.